Good morning and welcome back to the channel. So I am going to be basically making some clusters or some Valentine's cards today. I'm just making like different um, pieces that will be put together to make Valentine's cards. So I have this box here, well, basket really, and I'm just going to be pulling from that. And I have all kinds of elements in here. Um, like for instance, we can start with um, a couple of these. I think these would be really cute. Actually, I don't even know if these are going to be big enough or if they're going to be too big for the cards. So I have a couple bases made up. Yeah, like these will be too big for the card. Um, so we're not going to be able to use those. And let's go ahead and leave this out so we can get an idea of some of the things we can do. We can do like some of these. These are way too big. Not for that size card anyway. So let's do, let's do a couple of these. All right, so we've got, I wanna try to do even numbers. That way I can do them similarly. Oh, that works out perfect. All right, so let's see here. What do we want to do with these? So I think the first thing I want to do with these is ink up the edges of all of them. So anyway, how are you guys doing? How are you guys liking the new year? Treating you well, I hope. Um, stay put. I personally, uh, I love, love, love the holidays, but I have like no self-control. So I'm kind of glad to have that um, portion kind of past. Um, I was telling some friends of mine, I'm, I'm very grateful um, because I did not gain any weight in my journey of losing weight. I did not gain any weight over the holidays. I didn't lose any weight, <laughs> but I didn't gain any weight. So that's, that's a plus. That's a huge win for me. Um, but I am now back on the downward slope of losing weight, which is great. Um, if you guys are wondering what this mat is, it's just a place mat. I got it at the Dollar Tree. I do not have one of those uh, glass mats that you get from you know, various art, art dealer, art supply dealer peoples. Uh, I think Tim Holtz is one that's really popular. I do not have one of those because uh, they're really expensive. <laughs> and I just don't do mixed media enough, I think, to justify buying something that expensive. Like, I don't have a Brother Scan and Cut either, and I think if I had to choose between the two, I would choose the Brother Scan and Cut, even though the prices are not even close to fair in comparison. Like, one's $400. <laughs> I think the other one's like, I don't know. I think the last time I looked at the glass mat, it was like $75, 80 or I don't know. It's been a long time since I've looked at it. I have no idea, to be honest with you. So, I am just going over this these tags here and if you notice I'm doing it a little bit different than I did the first one because the first one I wasn't thrilled with how it came out so I'm probably going to flip it over actually and I didn't think about that Do it this way because I don't like the ink strokes like where you know if you look at something and you can tell someone inked it I, I don't like that um I like I like the aged look. I just don't want it to look like I took an ink pad to it and inked it up. You know what I mean? I want people to like try to guess <laughs> is it actually vintage or did she make it look vintage? And if she made it look vintage, you know, oh, she did a really good job making it look vintage, not making it look like an ink pad kind of threw up on it. <laughs> I don't like that. Uh, and that's just a personal taste for me. I don't, I don't like it at all. You know, everybody's got their own personal taste that they do and don't like. 
Um, and with the inking, that is one of the big things I don't like. Now, sometimes when you do it this way, sometimes it works out just fine and, it, and you don't see those marks. It comes out like this, but not always. Let's see if I can find that other one and show you what I mean. So can you see that there's a big difference? Like this one, it just looks smoother. It's still aged, it's still inked up, it just looks smoother. Whereas this one, you can tell there's like ink splotches. And it would have been a lot worse had I not been using the brush. The brush makes things a lot smoother. But I guess because it's like a weird oblong shape thing, I don't know if that is even the right word, but whatever. Anyway, so we're going to do some pretty pretties. Let's do two at a time because we want to make two that are identical. And let's do them, let's do them this way. All right, so is that big enough? Yep, that'll be big enough. We're going to keep those out. I'm just going to cut a strip so I don't have to have the whole big old strip out. I'm just going to cut one little strip there. And let's see, what do I have here? I'm just looking at some stickers at the moment. Those are really pretty. I like these right here. I think they go really well with the background. And that's just it is you don't have to make things super duper complicated or complex. They can be simplistic. The goal is just to make them your own. All right. So there's that one. And and the reason I'm making two of these is because I want to make two cards exactly the same because I'm whenever I put a set of cards on the shop, I'd like to have at least one more available. So instead of having one set available, I'll have two sets available. Same same. All right, so I need to cut this little, there's like a little plastic rubbery piece right here. I want to cut that off. There we go. Or we could just peel the rhinestone right off of the plastic. That works too. Hold that. Hold that. Because we're going to put our own glue on here anyway, so it doesn't really matter if there's no plastic or there's no adhesive. I'd actually prefer there not be adhesive on the back. I'd rather use my own adhesive than this. Because these are, um, these are from the Dollar Tree, these particular little guys. Um, and they're really pretty because they're just little flat back, you know, the wickies. Um, and they're really pretty, but... Uh, let go. Um, I want them to stay put. All That is a lot of glue. That's okay, because it will dry clear. That is a lot of glue. And we have little glue erasers too, so that'll help. All right, let's try this a different way. That's pretty perfect. Uh, yeah, that was actually 
a lot better. <laughs> and then once we get ready to do our cards, we can just put this straight down. But I want to put another one on this side. So we're going to put a tiny little dot. Glue right there. And then we're going to have the redstone stick to my tweezers. I think I need to clean off my tweezers. Okay. And then put another tiny little dot right there. Bloop, bloop. Perfect. And see, it's already dry and clear. All right, so there's one set. And now I don't know what we're going to do beyond those. But that's the great thing about these. We're just doing elements that we can later use, whether it's in the cards or not. So if we, for whatever reason, if I decide that I don't want to use these in the cards, then I don't have to. I can use them for something else. Oh, these are really pretty. I like these flowers, these roses. Roses are awesome. All right, so I'm going to ink around just a little bit. Take off that stark white, that's all. Okay, so let's go this way. And I think I can do Um, let's do this one. Okay, well, those are sticky, so let's just do this first. And you could collage these as well. I know some people are scared of that word. <laughs> Not going to mention any names, but, uh... <laughs> I think she's getting better at it, of being scared of it, I mean. She's always been good at it, she just didn't realize it. But I think that's the case with a lot of things, is I think we've always been kind of good at stuff, but we never really realize it. So this, this little guy here is actually missing part of, his, part of the sticky. So I'm going to go back and glue this a little bit. Oh, and also something to do with the ink. Um, someone, um, I believe I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, I believe, uh, Michelle has a technique and it's on her, it's on her, um, YouTube, but I believe she has a technique from a year ago, a couple of years ago or something. I don't remember exactly when it was where she goes over how you can get a flawless, like inking without it looking like you inked it and she uses like various different shades of browns and whatnot to come up with these different colors it's pretty interesting i should take a look at it um she's the michelle with one l just in case you have it um seen her all right here's some some pretty pretties like I said, there's all kinds of different elements in here. It's not just stickers. Um, oh, that one's pretty. Are you the same size? No. Um, I don't know if I want to use any of this right here on this stuff. Mostly because I don't feel like trying to cut this all out right now. I need to set this aside get it cut out one day. That way I can just turn the camera on and play with it because I don't play like myself with this right now. Um, oh, something else that you could do is you could add lace to stuff. I know it's a shocker. Me add lace. What? But um, you could add lace to that. That's actually really pretty.
another piece of lace here. I'm going to do something that I'm probably going to regret, but I'm going to tear up these stickers. But I didn't put any extra adhesive on them except for this part. That one's going to be fun to do. Oh, it wasn't bad. Yay. All right. So I'm just going to take that off. We're just going to pretend that's not there. Um... All right, of course, now we're going to need extra glue, but that's okay. All right, so I want to use the Fabri-Tac, and we're going to wait. We're going to wait. I don't know. Get off my finger. But yeah, we're just going to make some simple embellishments that can be used for just about anything. Um, they don't have to be used for Valentine's. Um, I'm just kind of showing you guys the concept of what you can do with them. Um, That's pretty. I like that. All right. So I'm going to use art glitter glue because these are kind of sticky. But I do need to go through. Actually, the fabric tech should work. All right. Because I have it out. I don't want to get another one out. Let go. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's just like kind of like the basic concept. You start with one idea and you just start with one element and you just keep adding elements until, you know, you like the what it looks like and you don't even have to add a lot of elements i mean the first one that i did i put all i did was put a sticker and two gemstones on it but it changed the whole look of it you know it doesn't have to be anything like super elaborate or crazy it's just a manner of Changing things up a little bit, and I have a sticker on me. Get off me. And kind of make it on your own, you know? Kind of like we do with everything. Just don't overthink it. Just enjoy what you're doing. That's all. All right. And then this one. Might have to cut that down a little bit. I might regret this as soon as I do it, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, what do you think about that? I think it gets lost back there. All right, let's hold that thought. Let's see, what else do we got here? Come in there. It says you are the best. That's cute. It's too big, but that's cute. How about that one? That's cute. I like that. All right. Um, and I want to use that one, but that one's way too big. Okay. So we're going to take the top piece of this guy. And that leaves this guy, which means we've got something that we can like frame something out with. Wait. We're just going to take the, the big foamy pieces off. And let's get rid of some of these sheets or stickers because they are everywhere. There's a reason I have a, a thing thing. I have a thing thing for a reason. 
There we go. Okay. So uh, let's unstick you from it yourself. And let's see. Let's put you right there. I like that. Okay. Oh, my cat is hissing at my dog. Dude, my cat is so old. She is, uh, let's see, how old is she? She's like 15, I think. Yeah, because she's a year older than my son. No, backwards. She's a year younger than my son. So she's 13. My son's 14. And then how long do cats normally live for? Anybody know? Because Bella has like, I, we got to take her into the bed, I think, because she's gotten so skinny and lazy and mean. Oh, she's mean. Like, she'll come up to you wanting you to pet her. And then she'll get mad because you're petting her and she'll attack you. I'm like, look, you senile cat. You came to me, remember? I'm just going to cut this flower real quick before I forget. Now my dog's going crazy because the cat's like doing something or another. I just didn't hurt hear her in there whining all right so let's see this was my idea come here i have you sitting like this is that gonna work i like that all right we can do red too no red would look bad there's no red in there I like this though. Oh, and I have found out that if you wipe your pen off of your art glitter glue, as soon as you take it out, it makes putting it back much easier. I still need to work on those journals, huh? I was just looking at there's the the remnants of the calendar pieces. Um, it's like the pieces that don't actually have any pretty images on them. Just like crazy information or whatever. I'm not sure how crazy it is, but why I said crazy, I don't know. Probably because I'm thinking about my crazy cat. Who knows? All right. Oh, and I got these cute little trash cans. Um, I haven't figured out what to do with the other two because it came in a set of three. But I thought it was really cute to have it on my desk. And then when this gets full, I just dump it out in my big trash bag. It's over there. All right. All right. All right. All right. What do you think? I think those are cute. Yeah, I like those. Okay. So I am going to continue to make little uh, embellishments here. And that way we can have various elements to go onto our Valentine's cards and look for those to come into the shop soon. I do have a set already in the shop. I only have one set right now, but um, I do have two of that one set, if that makes sense. But anyway, I only have one set right now. I am working on making more. Obviously, that's what this is for. But anyway, look for those to come up soon. Also, other things that are new in my shop is um, I was convinced by a very dear friend of mine to start making jewelry. So I did. And that is now in the shop as well. Um, currently, I have bottle jewelry, which is not new for me. Um, it is the... Um oh, hey, please don't fall. Oh, of course you would. The dangles. 
So the dangles that I have in the shop are three tiered and um, they are all glass beads, you know, my usual stuffs. Um, it's available in the shop and I say in the shop a lot. Uh, I have new things going up daily, so just keep an eye out if you are interested and I will catch you guys all in the next video. So thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.